Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I was just chilling outside and decided to just do a little quick video, a little quick update. Um, I haven't done a video in a little while. Uh, I have been taking a much needed break, kind of off of like, um, at least certain parts of like social media and stuff like that. Kind of still been keeping up <laughs> update on uh, certain certain things, but uh just decided to take take that little time to kind of like dive deeper within myself and yeah actually learning a lot uh a lot of the more expanded or more inceptive well yeah more a, a greater deep dive within the heart space within the uh, within the body, exploring the, the the three lower chakras, then going into the heart, uh, moving that then up into the expression of self through the throat chakra, uh, coming into the visionary perceptions of the third eye. Uh, so finding that balance within, I would have noticed. Yeah, and me, me actually, as a, when I was younger, I, I, I actually used to be able to, I mean, I do now, but, um, I would feel into other people's emotions, right, and often take, take them on as my own. It is only as I started to become more of an adult and actually becoming more aware of, um, uh, these abilities these empathic abilities, aspects of telepathy. It was a, uh, yeah, uh, uh, it definitely was a learning curve, and it definitely is, I would say, because I'm still kind of like going through it. Uh, but it's, it's very interesting. It's very, very interesting uh, how it all works. And so I was more so like feeling into other people's <coughs> other people's emotions. Um, at times, most often, I'm not taking them on as my own uh, without even recognizing it or realizing it. Um, so this was a couple of years ago. And then I started kind of like learning how to, uh, yeah, how to distinguish the two, the difference between the two. And so this, maybe like last month into this month has been uh, another aspect of that exploration uh, on a deeper level, tuning into different emotions that I... may have not felt right and actually like feeling them within the physical body expanding them throughout the layers of uh my energy bodies feeling them within the mental body feeling them within the emotional body physical body within the heart space hey you hear my cat <laughs> um so yeah yeah th this time definitely I mean this time a lot of stuff coming out um a lot of, a lot of stuff is happening uh not just in the in the US but around the world and I mean I would say to don't don't let it all completely distract you from diving deeper within yourselves. 
I mean, to be honest, it, a lot of this stuff is, is kind of exciting, um, at least to me, in some some aspects. Uh, I do understand as well too. It can be very overwhelming for a, for a lot of people. Uh, it it was definitely overwhelming for me uh, a couple of years ago, maybe in 2012, even. Uh, diving into a lot of the information, a lot of it would have kind of been, yeah, a lot of it would have, well, my consciousness or awareness would have been opened up to it uh, in 2012, and then as I was watching maybe like Alex Kohler's videos, uh, David Wilcock, I would have... Yeah, I've been exposed to somebody like wild stuff that you hear about, but then now you're you're actually like getting the certain confirmations coming forward, coming <laughs> coming forward in the reality. This whole year was a uh, in itself aspects of the exposure of a lot of that stuff. So yeah. So again, uh, it can be a very confusing time uh, for some. It can be very exciting after hearing all this stuff for how many years? Some people have been awake uh, for, for 30 years. And then and it's now, now is the time that things are actually unfolding. And, right? So, yeah, I, I can't even imagine how that, how that would be. Many who, who, who been aware of this for for more than thirty years. I I know, <laughs> I know become more. I I became more aware of it again in 2012, 2011. and it felt like a long time for me. So, but again, for many who know waking up in it. Um, All of this is, this whole journey of ascension is really an inner, uh, an inner transformation of the self, inner alchemy. So, even though things are manifesting on the external reality, it started from within. This is a reflective reality, a very intuitive or uh, interactive reality. Through our internal senses, through our internal knowings, through our internal interactions, through our imagination, or I imagination, my magic kingdom. Right, so yeah. Again, I would I would talk about the the for example, like the, the vision that I had, maybe around I think yeah, it was around um, October 28th, when I, I actually saw a major shift or a major, like, break, well, a major jump point through a star gate, which, rep well, which, yeah, represented an internal shift within myself, but I also recognize it as an internal shift within the collective. So we already made certain choices, all the choices, well, yeah, certain aspects of what we may be witnessing on the zoomed out scale, or the, the um, yeah, the zoomed out scale, the larger perspective. This has been playing out within the consciousness, as above, so below, right? And a lot of shifts are happening. A lot of shifts are going to happen within the next couple of weeks. And this is a reminder to keep, keep the balance of um, kind of like recognizing that this is a shift that requires our internal focus as well. Aspects of the law of one would speak about um, 
understanding the the, the inner reality and how um, the reality that we exist in it starts from within and we we must essentially take responsibility so this is one of the first steps of also our self governance so again this is what we're moving into more and more as more energy comes in right so so holy peace our whole uh, the wholeness or begin to intend for our wholeness to be to be found within our hearts within every aspect of our being within our uh, DNA template the awareness is shifting within the collective The more we shift our internal reality, we, in so many ways, affect and shift what we were, what we would perceive to be the external reality. Right. So, yeah, I just, I just thought I would do a, a, a quick update. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's a it's, a it's a very interesting 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 time uh, that we're in right now. <laughs>